Hi, my name is Marie Nichols. I'm the Student Placement Coordinator here at MICRA. Uh, you're about to watch some um, comments made by students who've recently completed their placements here in Mount Isa. Um, I'm hoping that you'll be able to gain from this some um, current and student focused information about what it is that we do here and what a great experience we can provide for you. Um, I'm so um, please listen to these and um, see what you think and maybe you'd like to come to Mount Isa to complete your placement as well. from UQ and I'm studying medicine and in my second last year. The accommodation um, provided by MICRA has been excellent in Mount Isa. It's within good walking distance of the hospital, probably less than three minutes. Uh, the, it's very secure, it's very comfortable, good kitchen, bathroom, uh, laundry with washing machine and dryer and the rooms, there were three rooms in our unit and it was good to have other people around to be staying with too. But you can get your own privacy if you wanted it. Also the computer, having the computer there with internet on it and being able to log in and access remote sort of wireless internet was really good. My name's Beilani, I'm from the University of Queensland, I'm in Brisbane and I'm a third year medical student. I must confess I didn't actually know where Mount Isa was when I first got the placement for Mount Isa. Um, I did do some research about it and so I knew it was going to be a large mining town. Um, I knew that there were going to be um, lots of um, shops and all those kinds of things, like even a cinema. Um, <laughs> not that I've seen any movies yet, but there's the option of seeing movies if you want to, which is always very good. Um, so it hasn't really like been different to what I expected um, in terms of the area, but I have found the people to be very um, um, accommodating and very lovely. Like, if, like my first night um, in Mount Isa, I um, went to the local um, uh, Irish club and had quite an experience there. Um, I never thought I'd go clubbing in Mount Isa, but there you go. certainly had a few adventures. We went down to the rodeo at Booyah, which um, doesn't really have much there apart from a few wild camels and a huge sports um, complex, but it was quite an interesting town. Lots of, lots of bird life, I quite enjoyed it. Um, and we also um, did a few trips along the way to Cloncurry and found a few treasures and a, a gorgeous um, open cut mine that was now filled with water. One of the best parts about coming to Mount Isa was being able to get involved in Indigenous health. I have a great interest in getting involved in this in the future and um, like any exposure is, is greatly appreciated. I feel like I've learned quite a bit by coming here. Um, I've also enjoyed the interactions with the, the local staff. Um, I've, come to appreciate how exciting it could be to do work and placements and I'm really, really interested in coming back sometime in the future when I'm a bit more qualified. I'm a nutrition and dietetics student from QUT in Brisbane. More than you thought it would be. It's actually probably bigger than what I expected. Um, I expected that you could walk from one end of the town to the other but I found that it isn't that small and especially with the heap it's a bit a bit of a struggle but um yeah still has all the facilities that I expected it to have. I've been to um, the trivia night at the Buffs Club on a Tuesday night as well as going to the um, Halloween party which was held at the nursing quarters at the hospital as well. Hi, I'm Madeline. I'm a postgraduate psychology student from James Cook University. I get to be really dusty and hot and uh, a bit scary. Uh, rather disappointingly, it was quite normal. <laughs> it was hot and it was dusty, but I was in the middle of the dry, hot season, so one can expect that. Um, but there were a lot more women walking around. It felt pretty normal, actually, just like a little country town, and uh, people were very, very friendly. The social activities in Mount Isa were so amazing. I couldn't believe, really, that a small town would have so many things going on. And for example, the first two weeks I was here, I was invited to three Christmas parties, uh, went to the theatre once, um, I traded exercise tips with some guy in the gym, 
I became a, an addict of the trivia night each week. I played a couple of netball games and was asked to join the team. Um, I, went, I was invited to an art exhibition opening and just as a complete change to all that, um, hooked up with a few very friendly tradies who rustled up a few utes and some cases of beer and barbecue equipment and we ended up going to a couple of waterholes that only really the locals know uh, and spent the day just swimming and drinking and having a really, really cool time. It was amazing. Cool. I think the uh, student quarters in uh, that Micra have were a pretty cool opportunity to get to know people from different disciplines and having different experiences. So actually got to become quite good friends with a couple of people who were staying in the same area as me. Uh, real range, uh, medical students, pharmacy students, physiotherapy students and then and someone who was um, helping to set up the nursing um, teaching around here. So it's just been amazing to meet lots of people like that. Hi, my name is Lisa. I'm a third year nursing student from Deakin University in Victoria. Actually, has been quite useful. Um, I've had an assignment to do while I've been up here and been able to source a number of uh, books required. It also has an extensive uh, range of uh, books regarding Indigenous health and culture, which I found useful uh, in my time up here. Hi, my name's Kirsten. I'm a nursing student from James Cook University in Townsville, and I've spent my past six weeks in the emergency department here at Mount Isa Base Hospital. The cultural awareness session was excellent because it gave relevant information on the Indigenous population and a lot of their history, background and how the culture works within itself and all the different um, tribes or mobs as they're called um, work together. Um, and it's been very important for me as working in the emergency department I've come across and being an Indigenous population Sid town, I've come across a lot of um, the Indigenous population and working as a nurse it's better to have that understanding so then you can provide nursing care. Hi I'm Calester and I'm a third year nursing student from Deakin University in Victoria. My staff have been really supportive whilst I've been here. They've um, always been able to um, be there for us and um, call us back when we need something or um, if we want to do something, we can go approach them and they'll try and organise something for us. And yeah, they've been very supportive and they'll let us know if there's social events on so we can attend them. And yeah, it's been really good. Um, hello, I'm Craig Atkinson. I'm here doing my nursing. Um, I'm from Fraser Coast in Harvey Bay. I think the big difference with um, a lot of the coastal um, hospitals compared to um, the rural hospitals like Mount Isa, um, is a lot more hands-on experience, um, a broader range of um, the diseases and um, the diseases that we don't have at home, um, you get to see a lot more up here as well. My name is Dean Truscott, I'm a student, nursing student from USQ University in Harvey Bay. Uh, well, you'll have 40 year olds having strokes and being put into a nursing home. Um, like the outlying communities, uh, um, patients come in with scabies or 40, 50 year olds with CHF, chronic heart failure. And uh, it's just something that you won't see like in big cities or uh, like in Harvey Bay. Hi, I'm Sarah, a pharmacy student from JCU, but down to Boulia. Um, we had a fantastic time just engaging with the local community and really being able to be a part of that. Um, as well as the social side of it. We found that, um, that as part of the team there, we could have a, a pretty good say in, in what was going on and, and that was a really good feeling for us. Hi, my name's Marie Nichols. I'm the Multidisciplinary Student Placement Coordinator here at Micro. I coordinate placements for all health students who come through the Mount Isa District. Recently I asked some of the current students to uh, answer a few questions um, and provide some of their insight into what they have found um, at Mount Isa and what they've enjoyed while they've been here. I hope that you enjoy listening to them and find them um, informative and interesting and see that we actually have quite a lot of fun as well as completing great placements.